All right, fishing with Jesus here. We're here right here. We got a little the car hoppers. We are gonna about to go get some fish. We're gonna try. Right. All right. Stay tuned. Fossil Creek. I'm here with my brother Vicente. He's right there. Oh, yeah. I think we're gonna get into another one. Ooh. Oh, yeah. yeah, I didn't even come over here last time. But this is looking nice. Oh, be careful. Oh yeah. Alright. Let's get into one. First cast. Maybe second. We're chasing it. Get him. Look at him. Get it. Oh, they're just not hitting it. They're all following it right there. Yeah, I can see what you see, bro. You don't see it? Uh -uh. Oh, no. No, that's not good, dude. Oh. Yeah, that's a bad spot. Yeah. Heads up, seven up. I made it for, no. Dude, I made it, and then it, come on. Hey, what's going on, guys? And thanks for tuning in to Fishing with Jesus. Um, yesterday, we were at Fossil Creek, as you can see. Uh, I did get into one fish. Uh, I did film it, so it's coming up. But right now, I want to get right into the word, and it um, comes from Philippians chapter 2, verses 13. And it says, For it is God who works in you, both to will and to work for his good pleasure. So I believe God is leading me to tell you guys that you don't have to wait until you got it all together to come to him. Um, I feel like I've been... I've been being told by God to, to share this is that if you think you have to wait till you get it till you're perfect to come to him and for him to use you, well, that's not going to happen. And for me, I think I struggle sometimes with that because I want to be, I want to be like doing the, the right things all the time. And what I realize is that sin in my life comes in and it does it does come in and I do stumble, but I, I think if I was like perfect and didn't sin, then I wouldn't rely on Jesus. So I don't have to wait to become perfect for Jesus to work in me and use me. And I want you guys to know that. And I hope I'm getting this out right because it is God that puts a work in us. Um, just like Philippians said, it says, for it is God who works in you both to will and to work for his good pleasure. So 
he, you're never going to be perfect. The only perfect person was Jesus Christ. He's the only one that was able to, to come in and conquer death and take on the sins for you and I. So if you don't know him right now, I encourage you right now to just ask Jesus into your heart and into your life to become your Lord and Savior. And if you don't know how to do it, in Romans um, 10, verses 9, it says, If you believe in your heart that God, oh, it says, If you confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord, and you believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, then you will be saved. That's it. So right now, all you have to do is you got to look up to God and with your whole heart, tell him, you know what, Lord, I am a sinner and I confess to you that I have done wrong, but Lord, I need you to come into my life right now. I need you to take over. I need you to make your residence home in my heart, Lord, and change me. I'm a sinner and I need you. And I, and I choose you, Father, to be my Lord and Savior. And I love you. So Jesus Christ, come, come right now, come into my life. And if you do that and, you, and you're sincere with that, it says that you are a born-again believer and that you have a spot in heaven. And I know maybe I, I don't feel qualified to be the one doing this for you, but you know what? If I if I wasn't if I was perfect, I wouldn't need God. And you know what? So it's it's not me that is doing this work. It's God that is reaching you guys and and changing your heart. It's not me. So I have to fully depend on God to do the work. So, if, and if I was, thought I was perfect, I'd be boasting about it was all me. So, Father God, I just thank you for this channel and for being an outlet for you, Lord. And I hope that just one person hears this message and chooses to become your disciple, Lord, and to, to ask you into their heart. And I know I'm, like I said, I probably messed it all up, but, and, Somebody out there watching this is probably way more qualified than me. But you know what? It's in my heart to get this out. And I know that the word of God is not going to come back, um, go out and be void. So somebody is getting this. So you know what? Uh, the next part of this video, there's, uh, there's some nice scenery. I do catch a fish. And you know what? God bless you guys. And keep watching Fishing with Jesus. Do me a favor. Like it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. God bless you guys. Amen. Peace. Here we go. Fossil Creek. First Saturday in October, so I'm actually allowed to fish. And here we go. Fishing with Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, I got one. Woohoo, got one. Yeah. First cast. It's a native, Arizona native fish. There you go. Alright, beautiful. Nice colors. Get back in there. Alright, second cast, fish. Yeah. Hello world. Did you get one? Oh, pull it up. Yeah. Pull it up, pull it up. Let it drop, yeah. Keep doing that.
start over. Ra ra ra. For um. Hey, thanks for tuning in to Fishing with Jesus. Uh, I really appreciate what you guys have done. Oh, I got to start all the way over. Holy crud. All right.